beaver. <laughs> Get your boots on. Missed one. Oh, there you are. More poop! Coming out? He was like, no. Mama hen. <laughs> He's getting some water. He wants some water. Let him get some water. You can tell the male they're really, they, they have a different crow. They make more of a And I swear when I walked in here, I heard one trying to crow. Trying to do a little cock a doodle do I don't know when they start doing that, but you can definitely tell. Dada. Dada. Hey, let's go inside and get ready for church. You want to? Mm-hmm. You can tell the eyes, the um, golden comets, they really have a red comb. There's one here, there's one there. Those two. No, there's poop on there. Don't touch it. Come on. Let's go check on him. Otis, I think you got a good size stick there. Come on, Joan, before the chickens run out. Hurry up, Cooper's gonna come in and get him. I mean, Otis. Come on. Go tell Sissy there's poop out there. Hey guys, we're at church. Happy Mother's Day! Let's go in. Ah, church is over. We're home. We got more flowers from Evan. I might mix them. I might mix them with my other flowers. See them? You can intermingle them. I can. Ham, 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 ham. Ham, we having ham? 
We're having Pam's ham for Mother's Day. Ooh. Ooh. I gotta look at this. I gotta look at this picture. Oh my. Shut the front door. Freezer. Strawberry top cake. I'm going to eat my Get in my belly. I just want to eat it. Hey, there's some peach baskets. Hey, there's some. Oh, that's pine. I was gonna say there's some hay. It's chilly in here. Is that my little dresser? No. Broken. So. Wow. He's somewhere. Tire, so be careful. Okay. What kind is he though? Not poison. Probably a black. Charlie said it's not poisonous. It probably isn't. He's probably long gone. He yeah, probably shed, shed his. Shed, um, shed and takes a while. Like at least. Oh, I didn't mean days. to kick you. I'm just trying to be careful. I feel like I'm moving. Yeah, it's scary when you go down. And there's a bee. Where's the bee? That's old. I wouldn't find him. If I found him, I would. There's our Big Mac. We got all kinds of stuff over here. That's our old chair. There's the three foot. The big magnolias. Ew. Hold on. I want to play yourself. Mom. Mm. Yeah. 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 Here. I'm afraid. He won't bite you. Oh, I need to adjust his body. You want fish camp? What you saying? Who, me? Dad, yeah. Dad, you can't wear my, my boots. Oh, yeah, I like them. No, I was trying to figure out what's for dinner. Well, I got cash on me. I thought I didn't. I was going to go and make those hot dogs for my Mother's Day dinner. What hot dogs? You got hot dogs? <laughs> Shoot, yeah. I'd rather have that in a fish camp. Mm. Hot dog, tootie fruity. Hot dog, you banana pudding. Mercy. You gotta, oh, I got to take. do it again. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let's try a raspberry. Did you get one? Okay, Dad. Come watch. It's gonna be fun. We just watched me eat a blueberry and it was funny. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me turn on the lot. Mm, his feet are in the way. Mm, he's like, what is that? Oh, Might no. be too sour for me. <laughs> oh, how, dare, how dare you reject my raspberry? God, what has clawed you up, baby? Dog, dog bite? Good night, Cheryl Teagues. <laughs> Here, you do it. He scares me. I just think he's gonna... Baby, listen. I don't know what we're whining about, okay? Maybe he'll eat this now. Do you know what you're whining about? Whoa, his body's like... Mm -hmm. His bring. tongue is so cute. You know what? We need a back porch broom. <laughs> yeah, we, we do. That's what I said. We need one of those. No. He doesn't like these. Like, no, I must have the blueberries. Oh, blueberries, blueberries. <laughs> Here. Don't waste some blueberries, Cooper. Cooper. These well, are nice. If, yeah. if that's what you want, you want it now? That's fine. Hey, guys. Happy Mother's Day. These guys are so sweet. They called in an order to the fish camp because they know I love shrimp. Daddy's gonna go grab our food. We got Odie back here. Hey, you guys. <laughs> I might be getting a goat. <laughs> or two. Probably two goats, right? <sighs> oh my gosh. I, I really want goats. But I just I'm keep joking pack around up. that I want goats. I'm a big um, Hold on. He finally but... kind of brought it out. Mom, he wasn't I... like, no. Mom, he didn't say, he was like, 
I said I, I didn't say no. Mom. I think he wants goats too. Mom. Yes. You he wants to hide. Mm. But here's my idea. I don't want you to. So they are little, they're so cute. Little dwarf pygmy goats. And it's 200 for a female and 100 for a male. So I want to get a pair. If I get a pair. Move it. What's wrong Look with her? How big he is. Yeah, Otis has grown so much, you guys. He's so big. Oh, we can take Otis to go visit his mom and dad. Anyway, so let's get back to Mother's Day. So, um, we went to Costco. My husband wanted to go get more of those cheese things. And so I was like, well, I'm going to go in because I want more strawberries. And so I bought two things of strawberries, a big thing of blueberries and a big thing of raspberries. So my idea is that I'm going to make either a cheesecake with the strawberries and I am going to make blueberry muffins and I am going to eat the raspberries. <laughs> Not that many raspberries as there is blueberries. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to get some work done in the yard. I want to do my bed. I'm trying to do the area for my raised bed garden. Whatever it's called. What? I just love pet him. You want to pet him? You can pet him. Say, so, come here, Odie Bear. No, 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 no. Those are evidence. Say, so, come here, Odie Bear. What? You can't lick. Over there. And, yeah, yeah back no. to the goats. Um, I don't know. There might be goats coming up. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure you oh, And Sterling wants what? Nothing. What do I want? Two ducks. She gave her a big presentation last night on the ducks. And then, um, like, whenever we go, we might can get I told my husband with the, with the goats, I was like, you know, in a couple years, I can breed them. I and they can have him. baby goats. Hey, and I can sell them baby I goats. I don't know what you're trying Where to do, you? Just keep doing that? I don't know. What'd you get? Here's my delivery again. You get the same thing? Yeah. Did you get honey mustard, Dad? Yeah, I got honey mustard ranch. It was thirty fifty two. That's what it was last time. Was it? You know I want you close. Maybe hold your hand a little. Hey y'all, it is twelve forty seven at night. And I am beat, but I got to finish one more ribbon trim. There's other shirts on my orders. Does that make sense? I don't know. So like, <laughs> there are other shirts. There's other orders. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> there are other, hold on. There are other shirts that I, should be making but I'm not making because I don't have the shirts if that makes sense um I ordered from Angela and hold on I'm trying to thread my machine that's right behind you it's not going through the hoops there we go I don't know what it is y'all I always have so much trouble at night um so I ordered shirts from Angela and she shipped them and the tracking just says it's arriving late. It's not her fault. It's arriving late, but it's arriving late. So I was really hoping they would be here Friday. I think they should have been here Friday, Thursday or Friday. I don't remember. I think I ordered them on the 6th. I don't even know, y'all. 
I think I ordered them on the 6th. I think she shipped them on the 7th. And I think I should have got them like in two days, which is the 9th. Or is it three days? Maybe I ordered them on the 5th. I have no idea. I don't even remember now. Whenever she got them in, I ordered them like that day. Um, and then she shipped them like the next day. So, they should have been here already. They're not here. And I didn't realize I was actually that low on shirts. But the ones I need are two size 4T to complete two orders. I do have a ruffle. I think I have one ruffle. Maybe. I don't know. But I was just trying to hold out because I do have the option to purchase a ruffle shirt on these listings. So if they really wanted a ruffle shirt, they would have bought one, if that makes sense. So, and the one they ordered was a puff sleeve. Sometimes it's hard to get this thing going. Um, so I am going to finish this ribbon trim and then go to bed because I am so tired you guys I've, I've been tired all day um and it's really weird because on my app it said i got like mm, hold on my husband texted me hold on i got a bunch of things going off on my phone i haven't checked my phone in a while so um i've been watching goat videos I want goats I don't know I don't know why you guys it's just like okay so I dropped my phone so like I always have wanted kind of like I guess what they would call a homestead like you know what I mean not like I mean a farm is that um so I've always wanted that, like, you know what I mean? Where you have chickens and you have, um, goats and you have, you know what, you know what I mean? Animals to take care of. And, but my thing is like, I always like, yeah, like, like the animals have to have a purpose, if that makes any sense. Um, so I've been looking more into like the goats and, um, goat milk and goat breeding and the whole that whole avenue and it's just very interesting to me and like goat milk in particular how if they say it's so much better for you and like you don't even you know that it's so much better than cow's milk and it's not like goat's milk that you can buy at a store it's just I don't know so I've been looking like more into that and I know where I can get some goats, so that's why it's like, mm, do I, do I, do I? And I see all these cute goat videos and pictures, and I'm like, mm. and then I, I just think about how, you know, the girls are growing up, and they're growing up so fast, you guys, that it's just like, they can be like, yeah, you know what? When I was this age, Australia can be like, when I was 13, my mom decided, you know, to get chickens and goats, and. So I grew up with chickens and goats, you know what I mean? And it's and then the whole experience of it all is just like, it's so fun and I don't know, it's interesting because I've always wanted chickens and now that we have chickens, I'm not an expert, obviously, but after having our first chickens, our first baby chicks, because they're already in the coop and now we have our little ones, you know what I mean? We kind of know what to it what to expect with them and you know we, oh I remember the stage like they're starting to get out the um the three leg horns they're starting to climb up onto the little feeders and then roost on the side and then hop out I remember that stage <laughs> so um you know it's the whole experience is just wonderful and I think it's wonderful for the girls and Journey absolutely loves the chickies if you couldn't tell, she's obsessed with chickens and Sterly was even saying, and kitties, chickies and kitties. Um, because when we got Otis, like, yeah, she likes Otis, but she's not like woohoo crazy about Otis. 
Now, Sterly is crazy about Otis, but Sterly also is crazy about the chickies, and she's going to be crazy about the kitty that we get. But when Julie brought the kitty over, the kitten, Journey was all over it. But see, Journey and Boo have a very good relationship. Um, Boo is very gentle with her, but at the same time, don't take her crap, if that makes sense. Um, if Journey does something to Boo, watch out Journey, because, you know, Boo ain't going to go for that. But at the same time, Journey can do a lot of things to Boo, and Boo will just take it until she's had enough. So, um, and a lot of times I just, I let that happen, because she needs to learn. And I'm trying to be mean to Journey. I don't want Journey to get, like, get her eyes scratched out. But Boo would never do that. Anyway, but she would, you know give her a little swat or hiss at her or something or tell her to stop and journey knows um okay <laughs> better not do that again so anyway getting off subject so i just i'm really i don't i'm really considering these goats y'all i really am because i was looking up like how much air because you know we want to fence in for um otis so the goats can live in the same area as otis I just have to get them some kind of shelter that they and they can live in dog houses too. Who knew that? Um, I have to give them some kind of shelter and they eat hay and they eat um, gosh, alfalfa, pellets, grain, something. I don't know. So I'm still doing a lot of research. Obviously, I have no idea. I don't never had a goat in my life. Um, my husband, on the other hand, they had groats when he was little. He had a goat or some I don't know. They they were into farming. So his dad had chickens, had goats, had pigs, you know, had cows just up until recently. So yeah, there's a lot of, you know, farm history on that on his, you know, side. But um as far as when I was younger, we just had dogs. We had turkeys once. Um we actually had a pet chicken. It was a pet. Um, just slept in the bed with me. I know y'all felt like, what? But see, also, okay, so this is like a really funny story. And so my dad is, um, really a, into hunting and fishing and into, you know, that kind of thing. And he, you know, I grew up that way. So it, nothing, you know, it didn't seem weird or odd to me then because that's the, how we grew up. My dad would shoot birds. So he would shoot. It's funny because um, there was a bird, and it was called woodcock. And I used to, abs when I was younger, I used to absolutely love it. I used to love, you know, eating that. <laughs> so I used to love it when he'd get it. Um, but we would eat a lot of wild game that he would catch or shoot. Or I guess not really catching because he's not catching it, right? But anyway, you know what I mean. So, um,. Like, venison, obviously, we do eat venison, and Evan just got, we got venison in the freezer. So, that's not, like, out of the ordinary, but, y'all, I have eight. <laughs> y'all ready for that? <laughs> I have ate a barbecued beaver before. I don't remember what it tastes like. My mom said it was really greasy, but my dad had got this beaver, and my mom cooked it in... I guess she cooked it the only way she knew how and the only way to know how. Woo! Anyway, so, yeah. Um, I have ate a lot of different kinds of wild game in my life. Um, turkey and deer and, like I said, the different kinds of birds. Woodcock, rabbit. I've ate uh, the beaver. <laughs> I ate the beaver. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my husband still jokes around to this day about it because I told him about it. And then one time when we went up to um, visit my mom and dad for Thanksgiving, when we pulled up, there was this ginormous beaver laying there. Like ginormous that he had trapped. And I don't know if he was trapping it. I think there was a man who had property and he had trouble with some beaver and hired my dad like, Turtle Man! Um... <laughs> To come in and take care of the beaver so my dad got the beaver obviously and then he was going to do whatever I don't even know what he did with that beaver but 
The funny thing is that we pulled up and this big beaver is laying there and my husband is like, what is that? I'm like, oh honey, that's Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. It was hilarious. But anyway, I need to get this done. Hey, you guys. I always look so horrible at the end of the day. But, yeah, you know, after all. Oh my gosh, you guys. Can you guys see that? It burnt my head this morning. Um, so I went to church. We went to church. Um, this is the first time I have gone to church in probably since this whole thing started, the, the virus. Um, but our church still had church. Um, and you can listen. You still can listen out in the parking lot. But um, we decided to go in and we just sat in the back. Everybody was really spaced out. So, um, but, um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, <laughs> so, uh, I, get, I didn't get up until almost nine o'clock, y'all. That's what I was trying to say earlier and I forgot. I totally got sidetracked that I slept for eight and a half hours which I never sleep for eight and a half hours so that's like a, a lot of sleep for me but today all day I've been really tired and that's the thing if I get too much sleep like over eight hours I'm tired um six to seven is like a good number for me if I get six hours of sleep I'm functioning fine and I don't get tired and I'm good if seven hours same thing but Eight hours, you know, I could go either way. I could go to good or not good. And eight and a half or nine hours, I'm like, not good. Um, it's so weird. But anyway, um, so I went to church and I was trying to hurry up. I got up at nine and church starts at 10 now. It used to start at 11, but because of the virus, they just, they do it earlier and they have no um, Sunday school. So I was trying to hurry up. We were almost, oh, actually we were, we did get there like right at probably 10.03 or something. It had already started, they were singing, but no biggie, we walked in. And, but before I was getting ready to go and I was curling my bangs because I was trying to hurry up and do something with my hair. And like the curling iron got stuck and my hair like got, I don't even know. And so when I went to pull it, it was stuck and then it like, I don't know. Like it pulled and then it bounced off my forehead. And it was so hot, it burnt my forehead. Yep. Anyway, it's so late. I gotta go to bed. I finished one, two, three shirts. I actually got five shirts here, but two I finished Friday and I didn't do, I didn't ship them Saturday. And I finished the two ribbon trims. So that'll all go out. And I'll have to do the other shirts when they come in tomorrow. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, please hit like. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.